Hi everyone, my name is Caroline and today is the third video in a series on the Alexa Pi and today is the most requested question I get on YouTube about creating an Alexa Pi. How do I get it to auto boot? How do I get my Raspberry Pi to always boot into the Alexa voice service? I'm going to do a full tutorial on that today. So first of all, let's review what we did in the previous weeks. So week one, we set up the basic Alexa voice service on our Raspberry Pi and I showed you how to run it every time you turned on. Week two, last week, we hacked the Alexa Pi. So we added sounds, we changed the priority on uh, things that Alexa would say, and then my favorite from last week was adding the LEDs. So let me do a demo for you right now. So the microphone is off, so the red LED is on, and I'm going to turn the red LED off by turning back on the microphone and now you'll see the blue LED light when she's listening and the red LED light when she is talking. So I'll say, Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the turtle break up with the giraffe? They never saw eye to eye. This makes it a little bit more visual to me. You don't have to do it this way, of course, but just to show you uh, what the possibilities are to take it beyond the tutorial. I showed you that last week. So I'm going to assume you've done everything you wanted to and you're ready to auto boot your Alexa Pi in this video. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do here is quit the sample app here, the AVS service, and we're going to get back to our terminal. And in order to do this tutorial, you need to actually to do all the term, to do all the tutorials you need to be a little bit familiar with Linux commands or terminal commands what we're going to do is I'm going to just point something I'm going to try to make this little teaching moment here I'm going to point something out to you our normal process of starting the AVS app starting the Alexa Pi is to I'm going to close this out I'm going to reopen the terminal here so we've got our terminal uh, we turn on our, our Raspberry Pi and then we will, uh, you know, open a terminal and then we will do sudo bash start sample.sh. Hello. And that's how it works. All right, so I'm going to hit Q, quit out of that. All right, so, but the real command, if you go back to what they tell you, they want you to CD into home Pi and then start the sample. So the correct command is actually sudo bash home Pi start sample. And that way from any directory, no matter where you are, you can use this command Hello. to start the app. I'm going to quit out of that. So this is what we want to remember, sudo bash start sample.sh. All right. I am going to copy that because I want to remember that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to sudo nano home pi.bashrc. So I'm going to modify the bash file. Actually, what I want to do is, before I go and modify the bash file, I want to copy cp uh, home pi dot uh, to home pi dot bashrc dot original. Just now, we should have two copies of uh, the bash file in case we mess up one of them. This is just a redundancy factor. This is not a requirement. So now I want to sudo nano uh, home pi dot bashrc. It is a hidden file, which is why it starts with a dot. And here we go. Here is the bash file here. I am going to go all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to add a new line and it is going to be sudo bash home pi start sample dot sh. And I'm going to control X to exit y to save enter and now if i open a new terminal Hello. it automatically starts the avs app and i'm going to quit out of that all right so what i'm going to do from here actually and Hello. see see it, it just automatically starts every time and maybe this is not the most elegant solution you've ever seen but this is a solution i have figured out and i am including in this tutorial right here so i'm going to do a pseudo reboot and we have rebooted our Pi here and did the uh, Alexa Pi, did the AVS service automatically start up? Alexa? No, it did not. It did not automatically start up even though we updated the bash file. All right, but if you click on the terminal, 
it will start. Hello. There you go. And it, and it works now. So what we need to do is we need to get the bash, we need to open a terminal every single time we turn on the Raspberry Pi. And once again, this might not be the most elegant solution, but this is the one that I figured out after much trial and error. This is okay, actually. If you want to um, just, instead of remembering the command, just have it open, you know, just say open a terminal and that's what you get. That is a legitimate way of doing this. Okay, but it's not a power on auto boot version. So we're gonna get to that right now. sudo raspy config. And what we're going to do is go down to boot options, number three. I'm going to arrow down to that, hit enter. And I do want to select B1 desktop silly. I'm going to hit enter. And now I can choose how it's going to boot up. I want to boot it up automatically, logged in as Pi uh, to a text console. And that will always force it to always log in as an Alexa. I'm going to hit enter right there. And then I'm going to hit tab to get to select, tab again to get to finish. I'm going to hit enter. Would I like to reboot? Yes, I would. Alexa, tell me a joke. Did you hear about the new squirrel diet? It's just nuts. I'm going to show you the terminal now because it only boots up into the terminal. This is through SSH, oh. just so I can give you a nice screen record. And uh, you can see... Um, microphone off, microphone on, it's back to idle. So it, it works great here. And what I'm going to do is Q for quit. And that's how I'm going to get out. So I can do a sudo raspy config. And I'm going to go back to boot options, desktop. And I'm going to go back to desktop automatically log in, tab, tab, finish. Yes, I want to reboot. And now you can see my screen. I don't have a terminal on or anything. And I'm going to say, Alexa. Tell me a joke. Did you hear about the pirate who became a great chef? He mastered the seven seasonings. All right, very good. So now if I unplug it and then put the power back into it, it should auto boot into the AVS service. Let's see if it does that. Hello. Alexa, what is two plus four? Two plus four equals six and it auto boots right into our AVS app. So it, that's the reason I put the hello at the beginning so I knew when it booted up, I would know when it was ready. Uh, so this is the new tutorial from Amazon. Thank you Amazon for updating everything for us and I hope you found this series informative and educational and a good tutorial. So I hope you'll try this at home. Uh, thank you for watching, please subscribe and you can see more tutorials from me. Bye now.